in today's tutorial i am going to show you something unique and a special slide in powerpoint and believe me you can do it very easily so as you can see here i have downloaded this particular image from the internet and used as a slide background then i have created this particular paper shape and to stick this particular paper i have used this particular cello tape again which i have made it in powerpoint using the shapes and then i have put a startup list and then i have just given the different uh, options for required for the startup and this is how the slide works actually when i click a dart will come and will hit on the target that means we are on track or if it is hitting somewhere that means it is a delay or some other purpose the work is not being done so if i click you can see here the first dart comes there that means we are on the target second also it's on the target third we have missed the target fourth is way ahead of the target then fifth somewhat on target and sixth again we have missed the target likewise i have made two more slides for example you can see here instead of circles i have used the rectangle here and again it is the dart is either hitting or missing the target and the other one i have just made uh, something like this where using the hand also you can just draw the tick mark that means we have completed this particular task but again this will take more time that's the reason i have used the best way to use the darts so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide right mouse click go to format background and I have choose the picture or texture fill and I have downloaded this particular image from the internet and used as the slide background so you can use any background of your choice then i'm going to add the paper for that go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give a white color and i'm going to bend this paper a little bit you can see here i have just bent this paper if you want you can bend it more and then i want to give a shadow effect to give the shadow effect I'm going to select this page and press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to give the black color and increase the transparency level how much dark you need maybe I'll just make it 50% and I'm going to send this to back and you can see here I can just put it like this and reduce the size somewhat from the top again I'm going to tilt this a little bit you can see here It got the shadow effect and then I'm, I'm going to stick this particular uh, a paper onto this wall with the help of a cello tape so how do I make a cello tape for that go to insert shapes and from the lines select this particular freeform shape and make a straight line and then I'm going to add some zigzag lines you can see here and then I'm going to make the same thing at the top make some zigzag lines and you can see when it becomes blue just leave it and shape outline make it no outline and use any color I'm just going to give orange color and increase the transparency level here and then just rotate it and just stick to this side here press ctrl D again rotate the other side you can see here and just add it here so you can see here uh, we have sticked the paper with the help of the cello tape and then i'm going to add the options here i'm going to add the headline for that go to insert text box and i'm going to add it here activity list for example activity list if you want you can make it in capitals also and make it center aligned i'm going to choose the font which is the hand of scene if you don't have this icon you can just download it and then just make it a little bit bend and put it here you can see here then i'm going to add the detail text for that first i'm going to add the shape either you can add the shape of the rectangle or the oval shape so let me just add oval shape just to make something different i'm going to add 
little bit less i will make it hold the shift key so that you get a perfect shape and shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and shape outline you can give any color icon here the line press ctrl d you can see here i'm just going to add it's up to you how many you need four five six it depends on you so again sorry so just make sure that when you select this one make sure that this is properly aligned just align it you can see here and then once aligned properly you can add the detailed text again for that let me just put i will just say for example step 01 and again i'm going to use the same font hand of scene i'm going to change the font color to some other font color and you can reduce the size again bend it here a little bit and put it here so you just first you have to make sure that this is all properly aligned otherwise it won't look good so you have to spend some time and do the proper alignment and then once this is done Control D to duplicate put for the step 2 you can see here Control D this is a step 3 Control D again and the last Control D so now I'm just going to change this one to 2 let me just make it 3 this is 4 and the last one I'm just going to make it 5 if you want you can just reduce the spacing and add more options also now I'm going to use this particular image which I have downloaded uh, from the internet you can see here this particular image I have downloaded from the net or you can make it your own but this will take time so when we can get ready made so why we need to do it uh, spend more time in doing the presentation and then how I want this presentation or this particular slide to work for example let me just reduce the size of this dart and I'm just going to put it here that means when I hit on the target here in the center that means we have completed the step one press ctrl d for example I'm just going to put it again in the center here and ctrl d I'm just going to put it here that means we have missed the target Control D this is something we have hit onto the wall nowhere near to the target and this is like somewhere near to the target and I'm just going to select all this you can see here and I'm going to give the animation go to animation enable the animation pane add animation I'm going to select fly in can you see here fly in fly in all i'm just going to make it on click see here and this effect options i'm going to make it from right so it comes something like this and again right mouse click go to effect options i'm going to timing tab make it very fast i'm going to make it 0 0.1 or 0 0.1 second and click ok so if i just play the slide the slideshow you can see here step one we have on target step two also on target step three we have missed the target step four we are way far from the target and step five is somewhere near to the target that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye